A long time provision in the lease for the Bengals stadium is kicking in. We've already been paying for capital improvements at the stadium. Now the lease calls for us to start covering game day operations too, to the tune of nearly $2.7 million a year. The good news. The game day operation payments have been delayed to a future date. And in the meantime, we are having discussions and conversations with the Bengals to talk about how the lease will play out in the future. The bad news, as it stands now, we're still going Going to have to pay payments of $890,000, $2.8 million next year, and it increases every year until the end of the lease. The voters voted for this agreement with the Bengals, and so we are confined to what's in that lease unless we have discussions about changing it. And so uh, we, we, at this moment in time, are obligated to do what we're doing. There's a purpose to the deferment. It's not just a delay for a delay, it's a delay so we can continue to have conversations. Conversations aimed at saving you money on a deal these commissioners inherited but hope to change in taxpayers favor. The agreement also lists capital improvements that have to be paid over the next two years. Those include an upgrade to the point of sale system, upgraded security cameras and escalators as well as work on the locker rooms. Reporting live, Molly Lair, WLWT News 5.